Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, guys. We have more Family Guy, but today we're doing something special because it's Canadian stereotypes. <laughs> and if you didn't know, you're Canadian. We grew up in Canada, yes. and so we should be familiar with this one. So they're going to be poking fun at us on the, on this one, the Canadian stereotypes. We've got a couple of uh, videos from Family Guy already up on the channel. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, reminisced on a little bit and, and gone back in time and checked out some of their older yeah. clips. And uh, it's been fun because I haven't seen it in a while. So I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, I haven't it. watched Family Guy in forever, like on yeah. TV. But uh, I've enjoyed our clips thus far. Hopefully this one's a good one, too. We appreciate all the support that you've given us thus far. Guys, thank you so much for all the likes the subscriptions we wouldn't be where we are where we are today so uh, we've got lots of comedy as well on the channel if that's your thing this is a place to be you can subscribe now if this is your first time welcome glad to have you here with that said without further ado let's get into some more family guy let's do it a lot easier than high school i'll tell you that well how do you mean High school is like Lord of the Flies. It's a social nightmare. And I hear Canadian high schools are even worse. Well, well, look who matriculated to grade nine. Someone wants to get into university. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm sorry. Well, you're going to be sorry when we put you in the hospital for free, eh? <laughs> right. Not even halfway through Canada and we're stuck. Oh, hey there. You having some car troubles, eh? Yeah, we're trying to get to the North Pole. I don't suppose you're from AAA, are you? Who? AAA, you know? AAA. Oh, AAA, eh? Hey, I just came from AA. No, not AA, AAA. Yeah, that's what I said. AA, eh? Oh, so you are with AAA. <laughs> oh, no, that's AAA. I just came from AA, eh? Huh? Stewie, I think he's just a drunk. Well, drunk or not, can you help us? I can if you want to join AA, eh? No, I'm already a member of AAA. I need help with the car. Oh, I see. Yeah, looks like you got some water leakage. You might need a hose, eh? Jose, Roberto, whatever. If you've got some Latinos up here that can fix cars, that'd be great. No, I mean, it looks like you need a part, eh? Well, yeah, when it's fixed, we can celebrate, but let's deal with first things first. <laughs> well, I can probably take you to a gas station, eh? You have cash, eh? Well, I don't know. My name carries a little weight, but I, I don't see how that matters here. We, we don't have enough cash to fix the car. <laughs> cash, eh? <laughs> cash, eh? Cash, eh? Yeah. <laughs> well, of course, Stewie, that fixed perfectly for him. Great, but let's deal with first things first. Well, I can probably take you to a gas station, eh? You have cash, eh? Well, I don't know. My name carries a little weight, but I, I don't see how that matters here. Look, we, we don't have enough cash to fix the car, and we're kind of on our way to the North Pole. Oh, a car won't take you there anyway. But if you like, you can take my snowmobile. Really? <laughs> you just give it to us? Oh, sure. That's what Canadian hospitality is all about. If you like, you can have a all boot. my money and my leg. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Easier than escaping from Canadian Alcatraz. Can I go out through here? Just be back by bedtime. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I did it! I was actually able to thread the- Oh crap, Canadian ghosts! Look out, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Morning. What the hell? Where'd you come from? Yeah, what are, what are you doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Middle of nowhere? No, I live right over there. What? A plane crashes in your backyard and you don't say anything? This is Canada, eh? I thought it might be rude to intrude on your plane crash. <laughs> well, this is great news! We're saved! Yes, I suppose so. Listen, why don't we head back to my place, grab a bite to eat, and watch the big curling match on TV? Canada's in the world final against Mexico. Mexico curling. No, 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 no. <laughs> They lost to Mexico, to apparently. Peter. He just headed out that way to get help. Oh, that's not good. There's nothing in that direction but wilderness for thousands of kilometers. Yeah, and French also <laughs> comes in handy when I have layovers. In my I would say this has been pretty accurate so far. Although, yeah. I would say that I don't ever foresee Mexico beating Canada in curling. <laughs> just my personal thoughts. Canada is like the only country I know that even though I was going to say, I don't know much regularly. about Mexico's curling abilities. So. Yeah. One of my, I remember when I was younger, one of my friends was into curling yeah. and um, he, you know, loved it. He was totally into it and I just never understood it. And we were pretty good friends and like you talk about curling and I had no interest at all. And I was yeah. just like, yeah, it's not my thing. Some people in Canada love curling. I was not one of them. I was going to say, I know, I don't really know anybody who's really been into it personally. So, and um, I will say though, they had the, you know, sweeper <laughs> Mexican, Mexican women from my experience fantastic cleaners the yes, best cleaners true. so um there yeah i would also i was also laughing about a boot yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I would say though too that I feel like some of the stereotypes for Canadians, like this stuff about being super nice, that's applicable to certain areas. Now I would say the metropolitans, like Toronto and Vancouver, they're more city wise. I think maybe if yeah. you go into you know more rural areas, you're gonna find some of these people like Canada. But I think in the major cities, I don't know if these stereotypes are as applicable anymore. Yeah, I was gonna say I think that this is probably older, right? Like I think forever a lot of Canadians had the stereotype of stereotype of always being nice and apologizing for everything yeah. even when it wasn't even your fault yeah. right and you would travel and people would say like put a canadian flag on your bag because people would know that you're going to be nice and want to be <laughs> friendly to you but i don't know how accurate that is now yeah I, th I think you know like i said there are certain pockets like you go out to like nova scotia or yes something fair. like that like yeah. those people out there are super super nice yeah. and welcoming and everything right yeah. but you know if you go to maybe like montreal or toronto or vancouver like yeah. I said, it's just another city so city if life. you're going to travel to canada just keep that in mind <laughs> Montreal, that place is the best. All right. Yeah, and French also comes in handy when I have layovers in Montreal. That place is the best. Oh, I always wanted to go to Canada, but then South Park went, so we couldn't go. <laughs> you guys should come with me sometime. Montreal has the best strip clubs in the world. They do? Yeah, they're unbelievable. The girls up in Canada are gorgeous, and they all play ice hockey, so they lose their teeth by age 10. <laughs> in fact, I even go so far as to say that a Canadian strip club is the most magical place in the world. Nip, nip here, and nip, nip there, and a bevy of porno stars. There's jugs and mugs of Molson beer and Canadian nudie bars. <laughs> Dirty hoes put on shows, and a lot of them don't have scars. They'll even take it up the nose in Canadian nudie bars. <laughs> you can touch and squeeze them, they don't even care. Would they even dye their pubes to match my hair? Uh-huh. <laughs> Color me there. Do like me, say wee oui, wee, oui, and tell them you're a friend of Bill Mars. That's how you'll get to watch them pee in Canadian nudie bars. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! A guy can get his hockey pucked in Canadian nudie bars. <laughs> get his hockey pucked. <laughs> oh my god. Well. What were your thoughts on uh, the Canadian stereotypes. stereotypes? I think that they're pretty accurate. They were funny. And like you said, I think like a lot of it probably is accurate at the time period of when this was released, you mm -hmm. know, because I think this is probably a little bit older, but um, definitely hilarious to see kind of the world's perspective, perspective on, Canadians. on Canadians. Yeah, It's also funny because like... No maple syrup jokes, surprisingly. Yeah. When I was younger, though, I never really caught that Canadians say A a lot, but like, I feel like I say that a lot. Mm -hmm. And then I realized, like, yeah, we actually do. Yeah. I don't think I say it as much as I used to. Same. But I definitely did say it when a lot. Yeah. That was like the slang that yeah. you know, got into our language frequently. Yeah. But um, I would just say, like, the last portion of the, you know, I don't, the Canadian nudie bar thing, that seemed kind of random. I don't know. Maybe, uh, like I said, I just haven't been to a rural Canadian nudie bar. And, and then I would understand. But. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't have much experience with that. So I can't really speak to it. No? I don't, I don't you weren't a frequent goer of, of strip clubs in Canada? No, definitely not in Montreal. I've Neither only ever been I. to Montreal <laughs> once. So that I was, was not you. either. Um, <laughs> yeah. We did not go to a nudie bar. So. But I just have never heard any stories either from people of um, <laughs> yeah. watching people pee or anything like that. <laughs> in the strip club. <laughs> but right. uh, maybe when they're just so nice, you know, that if you ask. Yeah, they'll do anything for you. Right? Anyways, yeah. I thought it was funny. It was nice to, uh, like I said, poke a little bit of fun and uh, reminisce a little bit about some of the Canadian stereotypes of yeah. us growing up. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed our reaction. If you did, hit the like button for us. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you want to see next. As yes. always, we appreciate those insights and the suggestions. So you can be sure to do that. And uh, make sure you subscribe and check out our other comedy that we got on the channel. Hopefully we see you on our next video. Yeah, guys. Thanks for watching.